everybody, Jason Shadrick here at the Winter Nam Show in Anaheim, California. I'm at the T-Rex booth with Sebastian and Michael, and we're going to look at a few special things they brought to the show. But first, we're going to start with this over here, what we just heard, which is the Soulmate Acoustic. So Sebastian, tell us a little bit about this one. Yeah, we wanted to make a complete unit where you got all, all the most common effects built into one machine. Very convenient for gig like gigging, right? So what we've got here is a soft knee compressor. It's actually a one knob compressor, and you can make up the loss gain here. We have a modulation here, and if you dial this one to minimum, it will actually be a detuner instead of a chorus. So you have a very wide stereo picture if you hook it up in stereo. And if you go up, it will go into normal chorus mode. We have a delay. Uh, easy to use, plain delay. Of course, mixed feedback time. We have a reverb. T-Rex has always been very good at making reverb, so we build it in, of course. And we have added a shimmer. And uh, the shimmer, it will... The tails of the reverb, it will shine up like an octaver. So you have this very big sound. It comes with an EQ. On the outer ring, you determine what frequency you want to boost or to damp, right? It comes with a feedback killer. If you are having feedback, uh, feedback problems on stage, switch it on. It has up to 12 notches, so they, it's looking at the, fee, uh, at the signal all time and take down the feedback, it finds one. It has a tuner. It's a super fast, very accurate tuner. Looks pretty bright too. Yeah, it's pretty bright. You have to see it on stage, even though it's a. Yeah. It has a five-minute looper. Okay. Um, easy to use looper. Just hit it, play something. Oh, it's in tune. Now it loops. Stop. And if you make a loop, it will uh, stay in the machine. So you can just loop something, bring it to the gig, use it. All right, Sebastian, so let's, we're going to take a listen now to the shimmer effect, Michael. So we have it set up here, so let's hear a little bit of the shimmer. Of course, comes with tap tempo. We have an analog boost here, where you can uh, determine how much boost you want on the back side. Okay. On the back side, we of course have an input gain, uh, how much gain we want into the machine. We have a um, phase switch. If you are out of phase with the uh, with the rest of the band, your sound will be very thin. So you can just flick it very fast, and then you are good to go again. And then um, we have a uh, volume control. So if you put that in, you can actually turn down the volume, but your effects will still ring out. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Is there expression pedal capabilities too? Uh, there, this is uh, the volume is for um, uh, for the expression the pedal, and uh, the shimmer control is for expression. So it's uh, because it's more like an effect. So if you want to use on stage, you, you can play with it. Uh, with your foot. That, that's the two things that are controlled by uh, expression. And of course, XLR output for the mixer with a ground lift, so you can eliminate those, eliminate those ground humps. And that's what we're hearing now when we hear him, uh, hear Michael plays direct from the XLR out here. This XLR actually goes to your camera, yep. but this one actually goes into the amp right now. Okay. So because we don't have a stereo set up here sure, right now, right. unfortunately. But right. yeah. All right, so tell us about pricing and availability for this one. It will be start shipping uh, in May, and the price it will be five ninety nine. All right, thanks a lot, you guys. Now we're gonna turn around here. We're gonna look over at this uh, kind of teaser that you guys have built. That's under plastic and glass here. So let's walk over here and look at your Vincent Echo Rec. Yeah, let's do it. 
All right, Sebastian, so here you guys kind of brought out a teaser of what you're working on right now, yeah. uh, which is a copy of the old Benson Echo Rex. So tell us a little bit about the development of this and what you have going on here. Yeah, uh, a couple of years ago, we actually bought the name Benson Echo Rex because, yeah, it's one of those machines I always wanted to do. So um, we brought it to life again. The big problem with the Benson Echo Rex was actually the thread to get hold of the thread, how to wind it on the drum, how to magnetize it, is actually, what can I say, the core problem with the, the, yeah. the, the Benson Echo Rig. So, but we solved that problem. So, um, how it actually works is that you have a record head here, because in the old days there was not many, what can I say, reverbs. So, they of course wanted to invent it, uh, reverb in the old days. So you have a record head, four playback heads and those knee knobs, these knobs here you can turn each head on and off independently and you can uh, determine how much output volume you want from it and you can uh, determine the swell it will say the feedback into the machine again so you have this very just like a semi reverb thing going on then we added an extra head because many of the old um, uh, Benson's they was actually modified with an extra head because then you actually have like a delay effect too. So you can get just uh, around a little second of delay. We also added a function where we can determine the speed we can take on and off about 20% in rotation. Yeah. So um, it actually changes the whole sound of the machine. So uh, I would say all the mechanical, all the different things, uh, difficult things, they're done now. Now we just have to fine tune and uh, get some feedback from the show here. That was actually the meaning of having this sneak peek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so are you thinking in the final version that the heads will be covered somehow, protected? It will be covered, just like we did in the replicator button. We have to see how it's done okay, now. Yeah. But there will be a chrome cover on it with an acrylic uh, window so, yeah. so that you can see the rotation of it. Of course it will. And so it'll be pedal board worthy so you'll it be able be to pedal board worthy and it will also come with extra last outputs so you can uh, put it on your mixer and uh, use it forever you want yeah yeah and do you have any idea about when you guys think you might put this out for yeah, real later this year later this year yeah but this year for sure this year for sure yeah 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 so where can people go online to find out keep an eye on what's happening with the Benson Echo Rack and the Soulmate and all the other pedals and stuff you guys make yeah, uh, well, well, short. What website would we go to to learn more oh, about all this? You can go to the T-Rex uh, YouTube channel okay. and then uh, we will put out some videos. Oh, okay. So uh, as soon as we have some uh, demos we would like to show, we'll put them on uh, YouTube. Right. Sebastian, man, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. This is Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com.